Lucas is back and we're gonna go look at some cool stuff. And we're not anywhere near the back of the line yet. This is like all the way around and around and around. Are we ever going to get to the end of the line? I don't know. <laughs> There's, we should have got off at the last subway stop, the last train stop, and we might have been closer to the edge of the line. It's crazy. Wow, that was some hike. We like walked all the way around the whole building, and now we're finally somewhere where we could get it in the line. <sighs> Already gonna be exhausted before we even get it. <laughs> and we are back inside Denver Comic Con day two, and people are probably looking at me like I'm weird because I'm talking to myself, but I don't care because YouTube. So um, we're going in to see some panels today, and they just told us they don't clear out the room, which is awesome. So we're going to a Star Trek panel, and later we're gonna see Jeffrey Dean Morgan, and we're so excited. Are we super excited, Holly? <laughs> she's so excited, can you tell? I know nothing about it. <laughs> she doesn't know anything about Star Trek, so she's like, huh? But, oh yeah, this theater is huge. This is going to be cool. <laughs> ah, loud video playing in the background. We're getting ready to see Jeffrey Dean Morgan, and I'm trying not to totally geek out. It's not working. because we were really tired of what we got back yesterday and we want to show you all the cool stuff we got and Holly what was your impression of your first comic-con it was a little overwhelming <laughs> <laughs> it was first off it was it was a lot there were a lot of events happening in Denver yeah. and so it was already kind of busy yeah, down it was there a busy busy day on but the train. Um, we found out that we Denver beat London and now it's like the third largest comic-con so they sold out Saturday and sa Saturday we went and it was just Oh, it was so, it was so many crowded. people, and it was hot, so mm -hmm. we finally, summer finally found Denver this weekend. Yes. <laughs> it was like 100 degrees. It was crazy. It we was didn't, we haven't had that crazy. in a while. I didn't but, like um, yeah, I also liked it because it was fun to just, like, see all the different cosplays and what people were yeah. doing. I was almost just mesmerized, like, I was just kind of... Because there is <laughs> so much to see yeah. and just look at. 
But, but you, my, you just look like walk around, look at people's costumes all right. Day. But my yeah. favorite thing was probably going and looking at all of the um, indie artists yes. and seeing all the work that they could mm -hmm. do. That was that was definitely my favorite. That's yes. always my favorite thing too. It, at New York Comic Con, Brody Con, any con I've been to, I love the artists. I love talking to them about their work and just finding really cool things. And uh, we found some really cool art that we want to show mm -hmm. you. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna try to put links down below to all these artists. Like this is one called Fly Okay, and she just had really beautiful prints. And a lot of these were like good deals, like whatever amount for 10 or 20 or, I just thought these were so lovely that I needed them in my life. And they're not even really character based. They're just really kind of like mythical, pretty prints. I think this was a different artist. Um, Shannon bon Bonat Bonatakis. This one is called I Open at the Close. It's like a Harry Potter inspired, um, he's putting this snitch in his mouth. Really like that. Oh, we just opened an Edward Scissorhands blind box. Oh, we did. And this one is called I Can't, which I was, we were like, saying. My, when, I, when I was in high school, a friend of mine and I always used to be like, hold me, I can't, because that's the line from the movie. It was like our favorite thing. And this one I think is so cool. It's from um, The Never Ending Story, and it says, Luck is Never Enough. These are, I just think they're so clever. I love we, them. We really seemed to be drawn a lot to this style of art yeah. when we were there. Carol mm -hmm. in the pits. This is Rainbow Bright. I just think that's just so creative. Like it's just really beautiful. Like a beautiful interpretation of um, the subject. I really mm -hmm. like that. And I like that they were small because I kind of collect small postcard sized things. Which one of our favorite favorite artists? We both Ben bought. Bird. Okay, if oh Ben Bird, if you see this, we just love what you. We did. love you. This, he sold us like it was like we five have for twenty. A ton of them. And then if you bought. If you bought 10, 10, you got an extra one for free. So we both bought like, right? We both bought, yes. we both got a lot of these. Mine are all facing the wrong way. <clears throat> so you want to show yours first? Sure. Do you think they'll show up really well with the reflection? Um, oh, I don't know. I'm going to hope they do because it's going to be annoying to take So actually lot. I was looking on his Instagram yeah. and he, he draws yeah, these we'll and then him. watercolors and, and um, paints them out which I think is beautiful and then he has these small ones that I think are so pretty so I actually got five that were all Star Wars themed for my nephew so there's with Ray and BB-8 I got a different Ray which one did I you get? I got the Ray with the, the um, lightsaber I think I will that's so cool I didn't even realize we got different ones and then um, Darth Vader I got that one as well so I'm yeah. Like, yeah you know and I then I got um, Yoda so cute. The style, they were so nice too. Oh yeah. So that, They're from Utah. That's what made us go back too because they were just so nice. Mm -hmm. We went back, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then C3PO and R2D2. Oh, I just love them all. I want to go back and buy more and like keep them in a little photo album or and something. Then and then Chewbacca. We told him to make a book because they're amazing. Right. He, okay. So there was probably what? Yeah, there were so many. A couple hundred different and ones. And he had even more themes like that we didn't even get. Um, <clears throat> Like, they were Walking Dead. I, I got the Walking Dead. Oh, you did. I have here Cheshire Cat. There were tons of Disney. I got Alice because it's like my favorite. Um, I got this Hagrid. There were lots of Harry Potters, but I just really thought Hagrid was cute. There were some like standalone um, dragon and owls. Here's um, Mulan. Leia. I also got the same Vader you did. Here's Gandalf. This really cute Harry Potter Sorcerer's Apprentice. Groot. And Mary Poppins. Also adorable. Then I got um, The Wizard of Oz, which is my favorite movie. And then I got Wonder Woman, because I think she's I just... I your favorite movie. Good. Yep, I always love Wonder Woman. Um, I actually picked out this one as my free I one, which is it. Steamboat so Mickey. So cute. Really, really cute. And then I am a Walking Dead fan. I love So, too. of course, I had to get Rick Grimes. And then I have Daryl with a zombie. <laughs> So cool. And then Michonne, and actually Michonne has her walkers. I don't know if you'll be able to see that yeah. behind her. But, so cool. But they're on there too. So I got those. Yeah. Um, I also got a couple of comics. I got one. I'll have to show you a picture. It's really cool. It's about the U.S. Constitution, mm -hmm. which I thought was hilarious. And the guy really liked my Burr Shop First t-shirt that I was wearing. This one is called Awake, and I picked up volume one. Um, it's by Benville Hess, and I got, I got it at um, New York Comic Con, and now I have volume one, so I'm really excited about that. Volume two is going to be coming out in December. It's a really cool story, and I like supporting like indie comic artists, so I was really excited to see that and see them again. And then, um, this is amazing. I absolutely was so happy to see this 
you guys, if you've been watching my videos, you know I am obsessed with Hamilton. So you've got the Schuyler sisters here and all the like different quotes and lyrics. And there was also a Burr and um, Hamilton version, but by, we had made a round and it was gone when we came back. But I'm gonna order it online <clears throat> because it's amazing. And then I got this one for my brother because he loves the Big Lebowski. And that was really cool. So this is a Christmas present. So yeah. if you see this, Jacob, hide your eyes. I know. <laughs> like, I don't think Jake watches my channel. Um, but I've gotten him several um, Big Lebowski prints like this really over like the that. years. Maybe so, dude be with and you. this artist is Rob Osborne, and he has some really cool stuff. Yeah, too. he had a lot of cool. He had like some office prints, yes. the IT crowd. There's and then cool um, oh, and this, this one, great. okay, so this one I got him for Father's Day, and this is a mashup um, by Justin Hillgrove and Mike Cap, and it is um, We're on a Mission from Leia, <laughs> so it's the Blues Brothers. I love it. Meets Star Wars with R2 so and clever. Something. Isn't that the cutest? So this was like the first thing I saw. It I had was. to have it. it and I mean, I, I bought it right away. Mm -hmm. So It was pretty awesome. Um, yeah. Oh, this artist. This artist did a lot of mashup stuff, which was really cool. So if you check her, check them out. Justin Hillgrove and Mike Cap. I forgot um, who did this print. I don't have his name here, but I'll put it down below. So if you guys yeah. want to check out the Hamilton artist's name, um, he does a lot of like different prints with words. Mm -hmm. Is it on the back here? No, I don't see it. Um, no, but we have his card. So yeah, I'll put all the links down below. But. Yes. And then the last day we went to panels. Oh yeah, we went to all these awesome panels. And Holly is an awesome friend because <laughs> I don't know she anything. said there were a lot of nerdy stuff for me. Um, the first one we kind of went to just because it was open. <laughs> we could sit down and it was a Star Trek panel. But it was actually kind of cool. John Delancey was there and one of the guys from Voyager. Plus like this woman, Judy, um, Judy Burns, who wrote an episode for the original series, which I thought was really cool. She, I looked up her IMDb and she wrote tons of awesome stuff like in the 60s and 70s. Yeah. Really cool to see her. And um, it was interesting. But then after that was Jeffrey D. Morgan. Mm -hmm. And we love Jeffrey D. Morgan, mm -hmm. like since Grey's Anatomy. Mm -hmm. So we were just like, ooh. There were a lot of Supernatural and fans cool. in there. And, and, and he cursed a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was great. But he was so he's, charming. He's so, oh. And so fun to just, okay. yeah. He was really, really good. We were really, really happy with that. Yeah. And, and that was really fun. He was talking about how Negan is the best role he's ever done, which it's, it's just great. Um, but everything I've ever seen him in has been great. Um, then next was Clark. Clark Gregg, I have a hard time saying his name. It's almost it's like, two names, two first but, names. It's hard. Know, he plays um, Coulson in the Marvel sh movies and in. And I only know him. Seals. I only know him from the New Adventures of Old Christine. So that shows you how much. But I know. he was really fun because he's like a big fanboy, and he he was really funny. He, he was, was funny. really cute. Um, he, that was a good panel. And then after that was um, Alex Kingston and Jenna Coleman from Doctor Who, which was like what? It was amazing, and the room was packed for that one. It was crazy. But it was so cool to see them. And Al Alex Kingston is just amazing. And River Song is one of my favorite, favorite characters. So it was really great to see her. And Holly's like, that's Lady from ER. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yes. See, I know what I yes. know my characters from yes. are totally that different. That's totally cool. <laughs> it's just, you could still be a fan of her. And she was really funny. Yes. Yeah. We really had a great time. And I'm so glad I came out here to Denver and a Comic Con. Um, and the cosplays were so oh, fun. This and... con, I think it really rocked the cosplay. There were just so many awesome costumes. I wish I had time to take more pictures. But you guys can go, like, look them up. Um, and I'm sure it, you guys should check out Presley at Act Out Games. They were there, too. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get to see them. But they did some awesome videos. And Presley also had pretty cool cosplay. So you should definitely check them out. You should check out Holly McKay Creative also on YouTube because she has amazing videos, too. And you can subscribe to my channel. And you can like us all on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and all those other places, Pinterest and Periscope and every other network that will be invented in the next 10 years will probably be on there too. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks guys for watching. Uh, we'll see you later. May the force be with you. Bye. Bye. Be sure to check out some of our other videos and hit that subscribe button.